I'm not sure what the German government is putting in the water supply, but if Juul is anything to go by, it's gotta be great stuff. Juul, spelt J-O-O-L, is an endless runner with a major difference. You don't control one, but two protagonists. Well, technically one, I guess. Hmm. The game starts like many in the genre, and sees you running and jumping from left to right. In this mode, you're controlling a dopey blue bird. Now it gets interesting. The game has this really cool mechanic where if you fall to the bottom of the screen, providing you have enough saves to do so, you can flip your device and continue playing using the opposing character. In this case, a not so nice alter ego. When using this red devilish creature, you run from the right side of the screen to the left. After you run out of flips, your run will come to an end and your final score, the sum of both characters, is displayed. The action is frantic, you'll be jumping your way from platform to platform, timing your jumps perfectly so as not to fall into oblivion. You'll collect loads of different items which will add to your score. Hearts, diamonds, eggs, both fresh and fried, teeth, and cups of coffee to name but a few. Other items, like a blue flower, transport you into some kind of trippy drug-induced dream state, where everything is warped and really difficult to navigate. And then there's the cupcake that speeds everything up and turns all the platforms into springboards. I can't say any of it makes a lot of sense because frankly, well, it, it doesn't. The little gold triangles you pick up along the way are called trips, and this is your in-game currency. You can use these to purchase additional flips and other power-ups instead of waiting to run into them along the way. Oh, and in case you haven't already noticed, the game is definitely macabre. Another defining feature of this game is that when you eventually do die, you'll be presented with one of a possible 30 different death animations. It's like the team at Rostlaub channeled the best of Tim Burton and Edmund McMillan. If you look closely, you'll notice that the bird's beak is actually held on with a piece of string. Quite often I had no idea what's going on, but that's kind of what makes it fun, right? The weirder it got, the more compelled I was to keep playing. The game is nothing short of beautiful. Every single sprite and asset has been handcrafted and looks flawless on the iPhone 5's retina display. This, combined with the fantastic rainbow trip color scheme and crazy music, just makes Jewel immensely enjoyable to play. The light dark concept and phone flipping mechanic really adds life to the App Store's tiring lineup of endless runners. Thanks to the remarkable polish of the game, you really do feel like you get a lot for your 99 cent investment. The guys over at Rosslaub have put together a really cool package with Jewel, and it grants us an insight into the minds of some talented and unusual German dudes. Pick it up via the link below. Thanks for joining me for today's episode, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with some of the great new games coming out for mobile devices. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.